High-end jeweler Tiffany coming up with an everyday household line. For instance, you could shell out a grand, a thousand dollars. Look at this for a shiny silver can. A tin can there. Look at that. Tiffany stock closed in the day in the red. People are not impressed with it. Ford, what do you think? People I, I think, running out of I, things to buy? Well, I, I think that Tiffany's needs to change its motto and basically say when, when feeding your money through a shredder becomes too tedious, <laughs> try Tiffany's everyday objects. Look, I love capitalism, but this is downright ridiculous. What do you oh, think? It's just, pe it's just people trying to be artistic. I mean, it's encouraging savings, which you guys should love. And it's interesting. You know, what maybe do you mean you guys? Which everybody loves, that people love to encourage savings. And so I think that it's, you know, it's, they're just but, trying but something Kelly, different. But Kelly, look, Tiffany's caters to the well healed. And what I will say is if you buy a $1,000 tin cup and a $350 accompanying uh, silver straw, then guess what? You're actually the heel. Okay? Well, it's very simple. Well, maybe the, Kelly, those people Kelly, wear Kelly, their Antifa jacket save in tin cups. Kelly, let me ask you something. Can you yep. wear your Antifa jacket uh, going That's shopping just, at Tiffany's for this That's stuff? what I was just about to say. Oh. I mean, if you bring your Barney's receipt, maybe. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Ford? You going to put your Antifa jacket on and go to Tiffany's and buy those things? Well, I, I wouldn't buy either item, but if it was really going to hack off Antifa, you're darn right. I'm going to go down to the village and wear it <laughs> everywhere. Right. We know exactly what to get the both of you for Christmas. It's good to see <laughs> I you like both. presents. Yeah. Thank you, Ford and Kelly. Come back soon. Yeah.